best taking care of this guy. Say hello to the vlog. What's up? Vlog. <laughs> them what's on your wrist so they don't think I beat you up or something. It's from shaking too many hands, <laughs> signing too many letters. It's from holding a microphone for 40 years is what Holding it's a microphone and squeezing it too tightly. So we just went to the doctor or moreover I went with you to the doctor yeah, and all they told me is I need to sleep. There's no time for sleeping. There's kingdom work to do. They think that he might have sleep apnea. But of course, in typical old dude fashion, doesn't want to listen to what the doctor says and wear a CPAP machine. Work, so, work, work. There's that. Yeah, or rest, period rest for the weary but tell them where I'm taking you now you are taking me to get a bowl of <laughs> dirt mixed with seeds <laughs> mixed with nuts I think there's a little mud in it we're going to vitality bowl again I tried to tell you guys I was obsessed it's a problem but could be worse could be obsessed with ice cream or something I actually might be obsessed with ice cream, but... Pizza. Pizza and donuts, the Pizza two perfect donuts, foods. two perfect foods. The two perfect foods. Super foods. If I could only eat one kind of food the rest of my life, it'd be pizza. Would that be true for you? Yes. Pizza? Yes. In all of its variations. If you could only have one type of pizza, like thin crust or pepperoni... Thin crust. Or Little pepperonis that are almost burnt. Yeah, crispy edges. Crispy edges. Bird seed on the bottom. <laughs> what is that called? I don't know. It's. Somebody tell us what it's called. It's. It starts with an S, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so basically Massey's Pizza. Sanctified holy. If you are from Ohio, the, the central Ohio area, then you know about Massey's Pizza. Dear Massey's, please sponsor us. Actually, we have great relationship with Massey's. They're wonderful and do great business with us all the time over at the Harve. Columbus has the best, the best pizza. variations of pizza. Not New York, not Any, Chicago. No, no. Columbus especially has yes. the, like all of our pizza places are good. I don't know you down south in Ohio you get Giovanni's. Oh yeah. Where's that? Like down around southern Ohio. Well, I know you said it south, but like where specifically? Where specifically? Like Wheelersburg. Oh, okay. Portsmouth. Have I had that? Huntington, West Virginia. Wait, did we have that when we went to... Well, no, that was Kentucky. Never mind. Anyway. Well, we did have it in Kentucky, yeah. Giovanni's. Right now, we are on Diley Road. The... The road my father built. Yes. He built so many houses on this road. And you just cut someone off. But... I did not cut someone off. But we should... We should pull. Did we? Pa we didn't pass it yet. We should pull off and show them the the Diley Road house, which is where everything started back in what 1977. Yep. Seventeen people in the backyard. Yep. I of course was not even a thought at nope. the time. 1989. I was Thirty a years ago. In Bible college. And started a Bible study. Twelve of those seventeen people were your family. Yep. And then. And then. We began. Well, yes. it was what? It was Sun Sunrise Chapel. Yes. And it was Word of Life. Yes. 
Oh, and Sunrise S O N. S O N. Sunrise. S O N. And our sign had a great big heart on it. Wow, how groovy. Hey, Very groovy. gotta be innovative, gotta be creative. So then Word of Life and then World and Harvest. And then World Harvest. Different. Now, all these houses around everywhere. There were no houses. Until my dad started building them. Wow, you're just totally on the sidewalk. No big deal. Well, these people probably wonder why we're <laughs> filming their house. There it is. Not the garage. Yep. The shelter, the shelter house. house behind it. The so garage was built later. Zoom in there. There it is. There it is. That's where it started. Is the swing still there in the tree? Yep, it's still there. Yep. The same swing. Same swing so in we, the tree. Even after, you can't really see it on. Now you can see it when I pull in here. They've got a pile full of junk, but back yeah. then it was a barbecue shelter house. That's where it started, that exact the swing. little building. That's the swing I used to push your mother on. So even after, um, the family moved out of Diley. They still owned it, and we would rent it out or lease it out. Clint and Angie to, Brown lived there. See all of the. Ronnie and Stephanie Harrison yeah, lived there. Worship pastors and like Doug and Doug Rep Rogel and. Yeah, I think they lived um, there. They did because I remember watching Ninja Turtles down in the basement with Shanda, their daughter. Yeah. Um, so I would swing out on that porch swing. So it, so it stayed then, in the family for a long time, probably another 20, oh, to 20 yeah, years 20 or so. Years, yeah. And uh, then we moved from there to a bank, then from a bank to a school, then from a school to a warehouse underneath a bar. <laughs> And Which is here in from Pickerton? No. Underneath the bar. Where are you going? I'm going to show them. Oh, it's going to show Three you. Three miles right from road. that shelter house in 77. Let's see, 70. Yeah, 70. Well, you didn't move here to, in 77. In 79. Yeah. This it's three miles from the shelter house. Okay, so then we started building over here, three miles from the shelter house, and that white building that says Alpha Hall that was Turn your 180 off. seats, and then we doubled it to 400 seats, and then we built the bigger building with the cross that's Dominion Hall. It seated 1,200. Well, wait, I thought you did, I thought it was Alpha 120, or 120, yep. then it was 400 was Harvest, right? No, Harvest was much later. Okay. So we just doubled the size of Alpha from 180 to 400. 400, got it. Then we moved into Dominion, we built that, 1200. I thought it was 800, then 1200. Nope. 1200 there from the very beginning. I'm, I'm getting my history wrong. And here. then Harvest was actually built about 10 years later after we moved to Gender Road in the 5200 seat building. Clint Brown came back to be our worship leader and we built Harvest Hall for him to have a music school. And then that all became. World Harvest Bible College, this whole complex. There's mm -hmm. another building behind that. That was the first building we built from Resurrection Seed. So. And now Harvest Hall is used by. Russian Harvest Russian Church. Russian Harvest. You can see there are little signs out there. Yeah, Russian Harvest. And, and it was also Latin Harvest. Right. Before it was Russian Harvest. Right. And we're getting ready to move 
our warehouse facilities over here from Canal Winchester so that all of the books and CDs and tapes and mail and all of that will be housed over here. And uh, the reason it was empty for a little while um, before Russian Harvest moved in and uh, we bought in that little office building back there. We actually turned it into what we call the president's residence. Yep. And when we've had folks move to serve um, on at, staff that, yeah. that needed a place to live right away, they could move in there until they found suitable housing that they were looking for. So we've always used it. That's where in the basement of alcohol is where Harvest Preparatory School began. We began first grade through sixth grade. Then we added one grade every year thereafter. But we, um, there, there was nothing there for a little while because Val, well, World Harvest Bible College became Valor Christian College and moved to the Gender uh, Road, Road property. Campus. Yeah. Everything the students had was on one property. So we have the dorms there. We have the Ministry Activity Center and Cafe, which is where their meals are. And then their classrooms are in Canfield Hall. There. Which used to be the, we called it the Breakthrough Building. Right. And that's where all of operations was. So right. you had it mail mail and processing and order fulfillment and application all of that accounting it was all in that building but then we built the whole ministry activity center hundred no oh, I forget how many square feet that is yeah, I don't know three hundred and fifty thousand or something and uh, so we had more space over there, so we were able to move the Bible college to the main campus. So students didn't have to drive to class every day from the dormitories. <laughs> drive a whole three miles. <laughs> they were like clowns. They were like in a clown car. <laughs> like a little car door would open up and twenty people would get out. And they had to wear suits and ties suits and, and, and pantyhose. Yeah, pantyhose and stockings and, and dresses. everybody's classes started at 8 a.m. Yep. And then and prayer was before that every day. And we had chapel twice a week. Millennials think they've got it so tough. Yes. Yeah, and one of the chapels, chapels was twice a week, and one of them, they had long tables, and they sat and had to take notes. Yep. So it was more a... a teaching atmosphere and then and then you'd get was mother, mama mother throwing P down throwing down elder can elder field, bender elder bender all those guys ladies we had td jakes in chapel we had uh joyce meyer in chapel we had of course dwight thompson in chapel dr sumrall in chapel R.W. Shambach in chapel. If you were at the Harv, you also did chapel, so. It's we still do chapel once a week and. Live. Live for the whole wide world. One of our most watched services of the yeah. week, chapel. 10 o'clock Thursday, That's led by ABP. <laughs> when I'm there and you don't have me working or traveling, yes. Well, you gotta stay busy, otherwise you sleep all the time. And the doctors try to make you sleep more. Rather be busy than bored. What is this person trying to do right here? This person hasn't made up their mind what they're doing yet. They're taking their lane out of the middle. How many times would you say we have driven that Once road? Once or twice. <laughs> I've been we should driving calculate that, road. that sometime. I've been driving that road every day since 1973. 
because you guys moved and then you went yep. to Pickerington Central High School. Yep. Class of 75. 1975, staying alive. 75. <laughs> and you were a skinny string bean with more mullet than I mean, not. I'm not skinny and string beanie now. Well, both of our chins. Yeah. Or, <laughs> well, I cover all mine four up. of our chins I cover mine would up. say otherwise. I should just start doing this. My when grandma. I was your age, when I was 29. I'm 30. I know. But yes. With, oh, look at this. You. Look at this, what I can show you. Oh, yeah. Now you can see. I've never shown anyone this. The warehouse. So there's the bar. Well, wait, I gotta. Oh, you gotta. This is a strip mall, right? So this was in 77. There, the Heritage Lounge. Can you see it? Heritage Lounge. That was the bar. And we, I'll show you, were around back in a warehouse. So our first, our first kind of building of our own was back here. It was right there, 1166. That was my office door, and that's just a straight warehouse, straight back through that garage door, and that was our church. And we had church there uh, for a, about nine months to a year while we were building the first 180-seat building. And there was a dumpster over here where I got to scrap wood from to build my first pulpit. <laughs> That's right. Is that where you had the desk that you spray painted and I, everything stuck no, to it? That was that was in the 180 seat building. I sprayed I, I got it out of a dump, a metal desk, and I spray painted it. I thought I'll make it black. So I went to the hardware and I got spray paint but I didn't realize it was the kind of paint that you had to put like heat on to dry it. Like it was like car paint <laughs> and it, it never dried. So whenever I'd lay a paper on it and pick it up and go like that. It ain't always been like it is now. Nope. 